what's up? It's Wayne's Plan Vlog, and that video day has come. It's the end of season. Put in an update. Tonight, it's gonna get down to 29 degrees. That is not good for banana plants, and they're not gonna, the, the leaves are gonna get frosted off. So, we're gonna give an update on them all in this video. The final one of them looking this good. And I'll explain how I'm gonna get fruit off them for next year. So, these are the front yard banana, bananas, as you know. These are the prized possession. These are my fav favorite ones. They have really grown tall this year. They're approaching 30 feet. Or maybe above that. I mean, they're so tall. Um, and they started off from the ground this year in April. And they've gone that, this tall in just a season. It's a shame they have to uh, freeze down to the ground. Because they just cannot take a freeze, as you all know. We even got some frost damage already. See that? That was from last night. You can see that frost damage there. A little bit. From... 37 to 34 degrees tonight last night and so tonight's they're they're gonna all the leaves are gonna be brown by tomorrow afternoon so but i plan to dig this one up for fruiting to next year dig it up lay it in the garage in the floor and replant next spring and it'll fruit early and we'll get to harvest that fruit I do have a, I do have a banana plant that is fruiting that I did the same thing to, but it was shorter. And I'll give you an update on that. So one last look, one last look at the front yard update. One last one. And now we're going to the backyard. Take one last look, guys. Because they're not going to look this pretty till next year. All right. That was the last look at them. Time to head over to the backyard where I have a banana plant that is fruiting. I managed to do this by the same method I'm gonna use this year for the other ones. So let's go back now and try to get a look at that one. Sorry, there's like people doing yard work over there, so. So I'm gonna have to harvest um, the fruit uh, probably today So this is the one that's fruiting guys This is the banana plant that's fruiting. It is 18 months when it fruited um, See how y'all guys saw that video the pod came out the top and then it started opening up Like that with the flowers and those flowers turn into bananas there And that's what I'm go That's my goal for those ones in the backyard uh, it's the same thing with this have the fruit come uh, for next year by overwintering it. That's how that happened. I overwintered this one. But as you can see, the pod's going down. Let me know in re recipes to cook this. But uh, yeah, there's the fruit. And I'll give that a harvest video probably tonight or tomorrow. But this area, I'm not going to do anything with next year. I'm going to let it grow out. I was digging that one up a lot, so it wasn't really establishing itself in the ground. But now it is. You see all these pups that came off of it. Tons of them. Got a lot of babies around here from the mother plant here that's fruited. So I'm doing the same thing with that one back there. I'm gonna um, overwinter it and it'll fruit. Same method, I'll give you an update on how to do that, but here's what it looks like. This one's a medium sized one. It got pretty tall this year. So y'all can see that. Got pretty big. Not as tall as the backyard, what, front yard ones, but it got pretty big. And then you can see here, we got pups here that have not fruited yet, but, you know, hopefully we'll get some fruit off these guys uh, next year. Not these, but that one back there when they overwintered it. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's the, uh, that was your last update on the banana plants I've got growing for till next spring, because they're about to all die back to the ground in the freeze. Of course, I'm going to give you a post-freeze update.